trailer is one of my favorite movies which solidified my belief towards religion. Thousands are gathered in St. Peter's Square. The new Pope has yet to be selected. We are under attack from an old enemy. Find Professor London. He exposed one of the greatest cover-ups in human history. Da Vinci. But what terrifying discovery would make the Vatican turn to him? That's Illuminati. The Illuminati were a secret society dedicated to scientific truth. The Catholic Church ordered a brutal massacre to silence them forever. They've come for their revenge. There's a hidden trail through Rome itself. I need access to the Vatican archives. Access to the archives is only by written decree by the Holy Father. Fellas, you called me. This is the first sign. What sort of sign? Earth, air, fire, water. And the fifth sign. May God forgive you for what you've done. Father of God has issues. They won't be with what we've done. They'll be with what we're about to do. Our church is at war. Hey! This is the first marker. The path is alive. You're talking about the moment of creation. Open the doors and tell the world the truth. It has to be here! This is it. This is the truth. Angels and demons. I have similar views towards religion with Professor Langdon in the movie. I highly encourage everyone to watch the movie because it is not only fun and thrilling but provides a second chance for you to think about your religion. I am an atheist. I do not believe in the existence of any divine being. Although my parents both believe in Buddhism, I am not forced to believe in it. They both are extremely devoted Buddhists. Therefore, I have been to both church and temple but never pray to either God or Buddha. Since I was young, I was not taken to religious sites or was taught by religious people. As a result, I was not influenced by any religious ideology. Now if someone asks me to believe a religion, I do not feel the necessity of believing in a non-observable being. I'm an academic. My mind tells me I will never understand. My heart tells me I'm not meant to. A quote from Angels and Demons directed by Ron Howard is what I exactly want to say to missionaries on the streets or subways. I do not criticize those who have a religion. There are two reasons why I forbid myself from a religion. First, there isn't an evident proof of the divine being. It is hard for me to believe in something that I cannot see. Instead, I would rather believe in myself so that I can stand strong on my feet. Second, I believe that humans created religion to explain a supernatural phenomena such as natural disasters to rely on it during dark ages. Therefore, to be frank, I believe that only people with weak mentality and insufficient self-confidence have religion. Furthermore, in the past and in modern days, religions are corrupted in many ways. Although religion itself was said to be sacred, it was used by the authority as a tool to exploit the naive citizens. A bit extreme and revolutionary attitude I may have. But believing any sort of religion to me means following the trap set up by others. As a result, I feel uncomfortable when I'm with extremely religious people because they seem to live in a segregated world. I want to marry someone who is an atheist just like me or someone who has a religion but barely practices it. I am not anti-religious, but I do not have the faith like Christians. Although I don't believe in God, I can coexist peacefully with religious people if they don't try to convert me into a religious person. I believe that atheism brings self-reliance in society. Other than praying to divine beings, 
They alone plan their way ahead, gaining assurance within themselves. Thank you.